The Fascinating Story of Nikola Tesla Nikola Tesla, born on a stormy night in 1856 in a small village in Serbia, was destined for greatness. As a young child, Tesla showed an unusual affinity for mathematics and science, solving complex problems in his mind with amazing ease. Fascinated by electricity and magnetism, young Tesla dreamed of inventions that could change the world. During his studies in Europe, Tesla became increasingly captivated by the potential of electricity. The storm that lit up the sky on the night of his birth seemed to herald a life dedicated to deciphering and harnessing this mysterious force. After immigrating to America, Tesla worked for Thomas Edison for a while, but their different views on electricity eventually led them to go their separate ways. Tesla had a vision to provide free and wireless electricity to the entire world. The Wardenclyffe Tower, his ambitious project in New York, was designed to transmit power and wireless communications. Unfortunately, the project was abandoned due to financial problems, and Tesla continued to live in poverty and isolation, focusing on increasingly eccentric and unconventional projects. Among these projects, Tesla is rumored to have experimented with sci-fi ideas, including a time machine, teleportation, and a weapon known as the Death Ray. Although many of these inventions have remained shrouded in mystery, they have captured the public imagination and fueled numerous conspiracy theories and speculation. As Tesla aged, he became even more withdrawn, devoting himself to projects that seemed more in the realm of fantasy than practical reality. One of his most fascinating and mysterious projects was what many called the time machine. Although there is no concrete evidence that Tesla ever built such a device, he theorized about the possibility of manipulating time and space through electricity and electromagnetic fields. Tesla spoke of experiments in which he felt he experienced flashes of the past, present, and future all at once, an experience he described as both disturbing and enlightening. These claims were viewed with skepticism by the scientific community, but continued to inspire science enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists. Tesla also worked on what he called the Death Ray, a theoretical weapon capable of sending concentrated energy over great distances. His idea was to create a weapon so powerful that it would deter any form of war through its sheer power of destruction. However, as with many of his other inventions, Tesla died before he could complete or practically demonstrate the functionality of this technology. In his later years, Tesla became an increasingly eccentric and isolated character. His obsession with pigeons and his unusual habits became as well known as his inventions. Despite these eccentricities, Tesla remained dedicated to research and innovation until the end of his life. Nikola Tesla involved in the Philadelphia experiment. This real military experiment in which the ship USS Eldridge became invisible. The story is generally considered an invention. On January 13, 1955, a well-known researcher of mysterious phenomena, especially the UFO phenomenon, Morris Jessup, received a strange letter from a certain Carlos Allende. The letter contained information revealed by this Carlos about his involvement in what he called the Philadelphia Experiments. In short, Carlos Allende said that he was a member of the crew of the destroyer USS Eldridge, an American battleship involved, throughout 1943, in a series of experiments related to the ability to hide battleships from radar. Experiments began in early 1943 at the military shipyard in the port of Philadelphia. The series of top-secret experiments were given the code name Rainbow. The experiments were conducted by the physicist Dr. Franklin Reno, but certain witnesses interviewed later by Jessup stated that they had observed the physicist Albert Einstein and the year before Nikola Tesla. In the summer of 1943, more precisely in July, the experiments were close to success. The equipment installed on board the USS Eldridge worked perfectly so that the ship became invisible on radars. The problem that arose was that the huge ship was enveloped during the experiments in a gray, highly electrostatically charged cloud. Witnesses on the ship said the metal equipment was emitting strange blue-green sparks. Then, on October 28, 1943, the experiment was repeated apparently to make the vessel invisible to the eye just as a glass bead disappears in a glass of water. 
In the morning the experiment started, the ship was surrounded by the famous gray cloud, then the pulsed energy in the equipment was gradually intensified. The sailors heard the whirring of the equipment and the witnesses saw, from the keys, how the vessel disappeared, along with the gray fog. Interestingly, the ship's wake was visible in the water, like a gigantic shoe impression. Then this trace also disappeared. The vessel had evaporated. Immediately, the phones rang at the naval base in Philadelphia and those at the port of Norfolk, located 600 kilometers away, announced in panic that the ship USS Eldridge was at the entrance to their port. They did not have time to wonder what and how, for the Norfolks nervously called to say that the destroyer was no longer in sight and the vessel reappeared in its place. The sailors recounted nightmarish scenes. Some had disappeared, others had simply burned up by spontaneous combustion. However, those still on board were suffering terribly. The U.S. Navy immediately ordered an end to all experiments, and the USS Eldridge was sold to the Greek Navy after the war. Jessup investigated Allende's statements, who had since disappeared, and asked the U.S. Navy about the events in Philadelphia Harbor during 1943. Although initially vehemently denied, the U.S. Navy eventually admitted that some research had taken place related to the application of electromagnetic force to hide ships from radar. Jessup had already collected enough evidence, but he never got around to making it public because he committed suicide one rainy evening by jumping from the floor of a hotel. Apparently, the man had no reason to die. He was at the height of publicity glory, but the police investigation determined that he threw himself from the window. The file containing the evidence related to the first successful teleportation experiment disappeared, and the opinion public was left with a legend that will probably never be elucidated. What happened that morning in October 1943 in the port of Philadelphia? Nikola Tesla experienced the fourth dimension. An incredible experiment. The famous inventor Nikola Tesla experienced the fourth dimension. While working on his transformer in 1895, Tesla discovered how highly charged rotating magnetic fields could alter time and space. Part of this discovery came from Tesla's experiments with radio frequencies and the transfer of electrical energy through the atmosphere. Years later, Tesla's basic discoveries would lead to the famous Philadelphia experiment and the Montauk time travel programs. But long before these top-secret military operations became public, Tesla made some remarkable discoveries about the nature of time and the real prospects for time travel. Time and space can be bent. Tesla discovered that time and space can be broken or bent, creating a doorway that can lead to other times through his experiments with high-voltage electric and magnetic fields. However, Tesla understood the true risks of time travel through first-hand experience of this major revelation. In March 1895, Tesla had his first encounter with time travel. On March 13th, a reporter from the New York Herald found the inventor in a small bistro, looking frightened after being electrocuted with 3.5 million volts. I don't think you'll find me a pleasant interlocutor tonight. The truth is, I almost died today. The spark jumped a meter in the air and caught me here on my right shoulder. If my assistant hadn't instantly shut off the power, it could have been the end of me, Tesla said. The fourth dimension. When Tesla came into contact with the electromagnetic charge resonance, he was outside his space-time reference window. He claimed that he could see the past, present, and future all at once. But he was immobilized by the electromagnetic field and couldn't help himself. Tesla was saved before he suffered any major harm by his assistant, who turned off the power. Years later, during the Philadelphia experiment, a similar incident occurred. Unfortunately, the sailors involved were kept outside their space-slash-time frame of reference for an inordinate amount of time, with devastating consequences. Tesla's secret time travel experiments were passed on to others who were not as concerned with humanity as Tesla. Nikola Tesla is credited with developing most of today's technology. Without Tesla's creativity, we would not have radio, television, alternating current, the Tesla coil, fluorescent lighting, neon lights, radio-controlled gadgets, robotics, x-rays, radar, microwaves, and hundreds of other remarkable innovations. It is therefore not surprising that Tesla investigated world flight and possibly anti-gravity. 
In fact, his most recent invention, issued in 1928, was a flying machine that resembled both a helicopter and an airplane. Tesla reportedly developed designs for a spaceship engine before he died. The world is not ready for this. It is something that is far beyond our time, but the laws will prevail and one day they will be triumphantly successful. Conspiracy truths or true conspiracies, it is certain that Tesla would have gone much further if he had not been stopped. Einstein and the Fourth Dimension Tesla's account of experiencing a moment of timelessness, simultaneous vision of the past, present, and future, while trapped in a very strong magnetic field fits perfectly with Einstein's theory of relativity, which states that the more space is distorted, the more the time factor tends to stop, or t equals zero, which is to see the three dimensions of time, past, present, and future, at the same time, i.e. t equals zero, timelessness. The combination of Einstein's concepts and Tesla's technique would revolutionize the world. But, does the world deserve this? All this power and science could end up in the wrong hands. So, to paraphrase Tesla, the world is unprepared because the owners of the planet are more concerned with military force and the monopoly of capital than with cultural growth and the evolution of consciousness. The god of money, not the god of truth, rules the world. This is an unfortunate fact. What was the death ray? In 1934, Nikola Tesla announced a formidable discovery, a device that could kill from miles away using only the power of electricity. Even though the press called it the death ray, Tesla had christened his invention Teleforce. The inventor did not use the word ray because the device did not actually emit rays, but channeled the energy through a very narrow beam. According to Tesla, the device emitted enough energy to bring down planes and kill people in an instant. The scientist claimed that his invention made it possible to install an energy fence at the borders of the country, which would destroy any enemy. However, Tesla hoped that the application of his invention would have a pacifist purpose. The scholar believed that if it were impossible for one country to attack another country, wars would be eliminated forever. Some historians say that this unusual weapon existed but was confiscated by the U.S. government. According to other hypotheses, the death ray existed in Tesla's mind, but the scientist never materialized it. Tesla's death ray could have tipped the balance of power in World War II, and the world's superpowers could have tried to obtain the plans, or at least keep them out of enemy hands. Did Nikola Tesla build a flying saucer? Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest scientists in history, is said to have invented, in 1911, a flying saucer that would take off like the UFOs in sci-fi movies and feed on free energy without needing fuel. Tesla would also have filed a patent in this regard, but it was buried by the interests of the authorities at that time. Nikola Tesla, one of the greatest scientists in history, is said to have invented, in 1911, a flying saucer that would take off like the UFOs in sci-fi movies and feed on free energy without needing fuel. Tesla would also have filed a patent in this regard, but it was buried by the interests of the authorities at that time. The aircraft, electrically powered by a wireless system, had the iconic shape of a UFO, was propelled by a discoidal capacitor, and took off vertically. The flying saucer was controlled with a gyroscopic stabilization system, which allowed it to move in any direction. Tesla promises big things. In an article published by the New York newspaper The Sun in 1911, entitled Tesla Promises Big Things, the inventor stated that the new flying saucer was intended to replace the automobile. Nikola Tesla's UFO is small, compact, light, and very safe, even in stormy conditions. The inventor claimed that the flying saucer was not affected by wind or air gaps and could even stay in the air in any weather conditions. The flying car of the future, my flying car, will be heavier than air, but it will not be an airplane. It will have no wings and no thrusters. It will be solid and stable. Seen on the ground, you don't even realize it's an aircraft. However, it will be able to fly in any direction in perfect safety at much higher speeds than have been achieved so far, despite vertical air currents and air gaps. It will be able to climb in such currents if necessary, stay in the air for long periods of time, even at very high wind speeds. 
Its power of flight will not depend on wings, as in birds, but on positive mechanical actions, says the inventor. A utility flying saucer. In 1912, in a letter to the Westinghouse Electric Company, Tesla described his UFO as a utilitarian flying saucer that would take the place of the automobile. I foresee a development of flying machines that will surpass that of the automobile. I expect Mr. Ford to make an important contribution to this progress. The problem of parking spaces and congested roads will be solved. Parking towers will rise in the big cities and the roads will multiply only as much as is needed. In the end, roads will become useless because civilization will abandon wheels for wings, said Tesla about his invention. Unfortunately, like the patent for wirelessly transmitted electricity, this invention would have been buried by the interests of those times when the development of the automobile and the exploitation of oil were in the foreground. In 1937, the famous scientist Werner von Braun would have taken Tesla's idea and started a program to build a flying saucer for the Nazis. A Disturbing Testimony in 1957, a Polish immigrant told the FBI that during World War II he had worked on the construction of a flying saucer at a secret facility in Golson, near Berlin. He told of a flying saucer, powered by electricity, that rose up to 70 to 80 meters in the air and could stay at altitude without moving. The Nazi UFO project would later have been taken over by the U.S. once von Braun was recruited into the team that laid the foundations of the NASA space program. Tesla was not only an inventor, but a visionary who dreamed of a brighter and more peaceful future. His legacy lives on in every light that is turned on, in every radio wave transmitted, and in every new discovery in electricity and physics. He was a man who defied the limitations of his age and inspired future generations to dream of limitless possibilities. Tesla died alone in 1943 in a New York hotel room, leaving behind a profound scientific legacy and many unsolved mysteries. His contributions to electricity, radio, and x-ray technology have had a huge impact on the modern world. Tesla's death marked the end of an extraordinary era of discovery. His papers and notes were confiscated and largely remained classified, adding another layer of mystery to his legacy. Despite his challenging life and the limited recognition he received during his lifetime, Tesla was a fearless dreamer and tireless innovator. His legacy lives on, inspiring new generations of inventors and explorers of the frontiers of science and technology. Indeed, Tesla was a man who lived ahead of his time, a pioneer who traveled untrodden roads in the world of innovation and discovery.